Now the final portion of this module is to make use of the UVs that have now been laid out by creating what's known as a UV snapshot. In order to do this, I will come up to Windows, uh, Modeling Editors, UV Editor, so I make sure I pull up that UV Editor again. And then with the object selected, I will go under Image, UV Snapshot. Now under the UV Snapshot options, you can see that it's already set up uh, to images because of where things are and it's held on to the information from the last one I did, which was the Create One UV. But because that's not what I want to save it as, I, I can come in uh, and change that. So I will call this barrel underscore one underscore UV and hit save. I want to make sure that it is set to be a targa. And instead of 256 by 256, this one I'll change to 512 by 512. Now it could have stayed as 256 by 256, but I'm just showing you that I can adjust that. And in the next module, I'll talk more about texture sizes and things like that as we move on to the texture creation portion of the 3D content creation pipeline. So with all of that set up, and once again, making sure that everything's set up the way it needs to be, I will hit apply. I could have also hit apply and close, but instead I'll manually close it. And you can see down here that it tells me where it saved everything. So it was saved to file, to that project and where it's at. And so if I go under images, I can take this barrel UV, and if I open it up with Photoshop, this can then be used as a guide to create my textures, which can then be brought back and applied to the material. So that's it for this module. Once again, this module focused on taking you through everything that you've learned so far in the process of a barrel. So modeling and UV mapping, and then creating UV snapshot to be able to use for texture creation. In the next module, I will introduce you to Photoshop and into the basics of texture creation and then application onto materials. What I would encourage you to do now is to start exploring more of your own models. Continue to uh, look for things that you can create and go through the modeling process and apply the knowledge that you've learned so far. Once again, there's not one right way to model an UV map. There are a lot of different decisions that can help you to progress at developing your models. So take a look at real life objects, do research, and then try and recreate it. Play around with it, explore it. The more you go through this process and the more that you have fun with it, uh, both trying different ways of setting up your modeling process, laying out your uh, edge loops and creating your geometry, and then as you explore different approaches to UV mapping, the more you play around with that, the better you're gonna be long-term and the more your skill is going to continue to develop. So I encourage you to play around with it.